In this question, we are required to approximate cos 0 0.1 using a fourth degree Taylor polynomial uh, and find the associated Lagrange remainder. Now, you can use uh, the McLaurin series, all right, for cos x from your formula booklet to um, approximate the value of cos 0 0.1 because 0 0.1 is close to 0. Remember, uh, McLaurin series is uh, Taylor polynomial, uh, Taylor series uh, centered at, uh, at 0. Anyway, so <clears throat> from formula booklet, um, cos x is equal to 1 minus x squared over 2 factorial plus x to the power 4 over 4 factorial minus whatever comes next, all right? So remember, what you are interested in here is just the four, up to the fourth degree polynomial. So that's where I stopped at that point. Um, so, because <clears throat> 0 0.1 will be 1 minus 0 0.1 squared over 2 factorial plus 0 0.1 to the power 4 over 4 factorial. Um, and that will be equal to 0 point, uh, 0 0.995 um, 0, 0, 4, 1, 6, 6, um, 7. All right. Um, now, the next thing is we want to find the associated uh, error, okay, uh, using the error term. Uh, so basically, the error term is given by, uh, and this is in your formula booklet again, all right, this one here. So that will be equal to um, all right this is the magnitude of error so f into and yep so this is the nth plus one derivative of f at z uh, multiplied by x minus uh, c to the power n plus one over n plus one factorial now, note that uh, c is equal to 0 in our case. Um, x is equal to 0 0.1, what you're trying to find. Um, n is equal to 4, uh, the degree of the polynomial, Taylor polynomial that we're using. And uh, so, which means z is between um, 0 and and uh, 0 0.1 okay so we have to choose z between 0 and 0 0.1 um but let's carry on um so that means that r for 0 0.1 will be equal to the absolute value of uh, um the fifth derivative of f at z, we'll find out what it is. Now, x minus c, that will be 0 0.1 minus 0, which is just 0 0.1 to power 5 over 5 factorial. Now, um, <clears throat> so the fifth derivative, of course, x, um, is uh, we have to find that. Uh, so f of x is equal to cos x. f dash x will be equal to negative sine x. Second derivative of this function will be equal to uh, negative cos x. Third derivative of this function will be equal to um, sine x for derivative of this function will be equal to cos x 
And the fifth derivative of this function will be equal to negative side x. All right, so which means that uh, f uh, <clears throat> the value of the fifth derivative of uh, this function at z will be equal to negative sine z. Now, remember what we said initially um, is that uh, sine z is less than um, sine z. Uh, the absolute value of sine z actually is less than or equal to 1. Um, so the maximum value of sine z um, is 1, right? So which means uh, that will give uh, that will give us maximum error is 1. So the maximum value of sine z that will give us uh, maximum error is 1. Um, <clears throat> so maybe I can put this in a bubble uh, just to help you think about this. But that's what it is. You know, when you're dealing with trig trigonometric uh, especially sin x and cos x, then you have to consider that. All right, so we are going to plug in um, 1 in place of uh, uh, this bit. So in place of this bit, we'll plug in 1. So what we'll end up with is um, r4 at 0 0.1 will be um, so I'll just plug in one so that will be one um, multiplied by uh, 0 0.1 uh, to power 5 of uh, 5 factorial and that will be equal to, um, actually I can write here, this will be equal to 8.33 times 10 to power uh, negative 8. What does that mean? It means that, hence for this approx uh, approximation, it means that for this approximation, um, the error is at most 8.33 times 10 to power eight, negative 8. Yeah? So for this approximation, You know, um, I don't want to add more details. We already discussed that. Um, the error is at most um, 8.33 times 10 to the power negative 8. 